Right then, this is a quick road test video, and this is for a Honda Civic 2.2 ES diesel. This particular car is registered BL12 EWS, and mileage at the start of the road test is 88,883 miles. The reason we do these road tests is very simple. It's basically so that anyone that's actually looking at this car online in an advert actually gets to see that very car in operation. Um, it gives us opportunity to feed back any issues that might be with the car prior to coming to see us um, that would manifest themselves on a, on a road test. We know just how frustrating it is to go and see a car, travel many hours, only to get there to find out when you, um, when you get there that there's um, uh, there's a fundamental problem with the vehicle which you clearly should have been told about. The road test is also done on the same road test route as any prospective buyer would go on, uh, so hopefully then would be representative of what you'd feel yourself if offered a test drive on the car. So coming to the car itself, um, starting with the engine, starts absolutely instantly, settles to a completely smooth, even idle. There are no warning lights on the dashboard whatsoever. Um, temperature gauge running at a third, which is exactly where it should be on a Honda car as well and the engine's been running for quite some time now. Um, the engines themselves, as I always say, the, the, these 2.2 DTEX are just lovely, lovely engines. They are so civilised, so smooth and refined in operation um, that, you know, realistically, much above first and second gear, you're pretty much unaware that it's actually a diesel car at all. It's, it's got a lovely power delivery, very smooth, um, you don't get those horrible kind of peaks and troughs in power that you get with some cars where you get nothing, then loads, then nothing. Uh, this has got, you know, instant grunt pretty much throughout the entire rev range and the same amount of grunt as well. Um, but a fabulous, fabulous engine. And uh, they are, of course, unbelievably economical as well. And they really do achieve their economy figures, uh, quoted by Honda. Um, I've had a few of these and I found it, you know, relatively easy. Um, without kind of consciously driving economically to sort of exceed 60 miles per gallon out of them. But obviously that is down to driving style. Engine then feeds through clutch and into gearbox. Clutch on the car is absolutely perfect. Bike point is exactly where it should be. Um, pedal itself is nice and smooth and positive in actuation. The six speed gearbox is you know is a brilliant brilliant gearbox not only in terms of kind of longevity and durability um, but also in terms of actual actuation because Honda as I say on pretty much all the videos with these cars put a lot of effort into the feel of the gearboxes it's one of their greatest strengths um, so rather than doing what most manufacturers do which is make it adequate make it okay they put you know they make it feel substantial they give it a really positive actuation um, it's a lovely gear change and what's more impressive is the fact that as with most front wheel drive cars gear, uh, gear lever here is joined to the gearbox underneath by cables so it's very hard to get that feel uh, but they've done a brilliant job and I can feel no wear in it at all it feels absolutely tight as a drum steering of the car uh, really nicely weighted, tracks bullet straight, there's no vibrations at all coming back through the steering wheel of the car um, and it's lovely, accurate, precise, so the weighting of it's absolutely beautiful as well. Um, minimal movements needed to go around the corners it's, and it's perfectly balanced, uh, matched to the chassis of the car. The chassis itself, what I'm looking for on road tests is signs of any kind of nasty sort of clunks or thumps coming from underneath the car of which there's nothing at all. Uh, it's also very, very comfortable indeed. Any issues from the last generation completely addressed. This is as comfortable as anything in the class that I've driven. Um, but it still has that lovely agility that the uh, Civics were famed for. Uh, it's a you know, really, really class act. Brakes of the car, just going to get around the corner a little bit. Of shove, I know they're good anyway, but it's a lovely solid brake pedal on the car. Um, you know, I did it in more extreme on road test earlier, but it's it, the brake pedal itself is lovely and solid, bites really nicely. Um, and when you hit the brakes, the car comes down nice and straight, it doesn't sort of pull violently left or right. 
and there's no kind of tremors or vibrations coming back through the brake pedal at all so all's absolutely as it should be looking around inside the car um it's in lovely condition the dashboard looks like new in all honesty it just, it's just absolutely fantastic condition uh, as i say you know the videos unfortunately can't get across or can't impress to you just how beautifully made this car is i mean we're talking a car with 88,000 miles in it that essentially just drives as if it's new and that's not that awful cliche you hear um it's a fact you know it's then this is real world build quality not when you know manufacturers send them to the motoring press when they're brand new where pretty much all cars feel well made and i keep hearing the same old rubbish spouted over and over again that certain manufacturers well they've sorted their build quality now and they feel much better than then as well built as a civic or you know toyota or a lexus um, well test the cars again in about eight years time and with this kind of mileage on and see just how well built they feel compared to one of these it's you know, it really does beg a belief that they come up with this rubbish but uh, this is just wonderfully made all working beautifully air conditioning is ice cold on the car um, all the main functions working exactly as it should as well just cruise control there works again absolutely perfectly but it's just such a joyful place to sit and operate a car because unlike so many cars in its class they've made an effort to make you feel a little bit special inside the car but not at the expense of practicality. So you've got this amazing looking dashboard, um, which would be utterly useless if it was just a gimmick. But the fact is, it's there for a purpose. This is pretty conventional now. It all works beautifully. The switch gear's got a lovely quality of actuation. But my favorite part by far is this lovely kind of two-tier design directly in front of me. Um, and Honda will put up nice and high the information you really want to look at regularly. So you've got your trip information and radio displayed and um, uh, your temperatures for the climate control system can be operated up there as well. Um, but more importantly, your speed, big digital speedo directly in line of sight. So as you're driving along, you don't have to take your eyes off the road for a second uh, to take in the, the speed that you're actually uh, driving in the car. Uh, it is absolute genius. Um, also, if you're in economy mode, um, you've got those two blue lights flanking the, um, the speed. If I press a button there, go into economy mode, and they gently change from blue to light blue to green um, as the more economically you're driving the car. So now I'm in the right gear for the car, all uh, the green lights are illuminated. And it's really subtle, it doesn't distract in any way. Um, and it, but it does actually work. It prompts you to change gear earlier. To, you see the blue, you, you want to get the green back on in your subconscious. It works absolutely brilliantly. Down below that, more conventional pod of three um, dials there with your temperature gauge, fuel gauge, and big rev counter slap bang in the middle. Um, but it all feels just like new to hand. It really is in fabulous, fabulous condition in here. Um, as I said at the start of the video, the, the point of these videos is to pick up on any issues uh, on the car and there's nothing whilst driving the car that I can feel at all. It drives absolutely beautifully and I say that regardless of age or mileage. I'm not giving it any allowance for that at all. Uh, it's, whoever's lucky enough to get this one will be driving a lovely, lovely car. Um, and I, I spent many years working for the Honda dealership so I do tend to know if, you know if there is something fundamentally wrong with the drive of a car. You know, I, I, I do tend to feel it um, through the experience of having sold you know, thousands and thousands of this particular type of car. Um, having said that, if you've got any questions about the car, don't hesitate. Please do give us a call.